Welcome back to Infinite Fusion. Uh, this is a new route, Route 14. There is grass. I think we want a Dusk Encounter. That one looks like the best set. Slackoff, not what it is. Actually, this is incredible, right? Because you can fuse away the Slackoff ability. Whatever it is. It's not Slackoff. It's Truit. Truit. This is actually incredible, right? I was completely sleeping on this, ironically. Um... Yeah, like, wait, could we do Slay King Azumarill <laughs> with huge power? Hold on, does this fucking work? I gotta go to the cow. This is ridiculous. It's blacking Azumarill. Yeah, so you could do normal fairy slacking Azumarill huge power with 86 attack. <laughs> Base stat, stat total 521. Or you can do thick fat 123 attack, but like. You want huge power, right? Is huge power double? Or 1.5? Doubles the attack stat. Holy shit. Wait, so we're got looking at. um, Fucking doubling an 86? So we're going to be like, what, 174, 172 attack, I mean? That's, uh, that's wild. And then we're weak to only poison and steel with resistances to bug dark and immunities to ghost and dragon. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, that looks like really good. That actually seems completely busted. Well, we well, won't even, like... I'm not even gonna lock that as a fusion. I think there's also a lot of other shit that could go crazy with that. Like, what is, like, slacking fucking... That is that is sick as well, Caterdactyl. Uh, what about, like, slacking fucking Snorlax? Like, what is the BST on that? 633 BST with immunity. 633, 143 attack, 156 HP. Maybe that's better. Straight normal without 633, no downside? Seems wild. That, that actually, man. I'm, that might have to be it. Okay, well, anyway, let's worry about that later when we actually do fuse fusions. Um... You ever just accidentally get the amazing encounter without realizing it? This is Scarecrow, which is kind of incredible. Um... Try a brick break. Okay, not... So that wasn't super effective at all, which means this is flying. The flying steel or flying dark, right? I guess there's no reason to click anything else. Alright. I like that they redid this area and just made it into a friggin' swampland. That's pretty cool. For Terra. God damn. Grass, ground, bug, and steel. Let's maybe stay in and see what X Scissor does. Neutral X Scissor. So, it's not grass, means it's ground? Yep. It's kind of fun figuring out the types. Like, process of elimination. Like, it's an interesting puzzle aspect that I like. Mag Zing. Weezing and... Could be Magmar. Could be, um... Meg Cargo. It looks like it's Meg Cargo.
Goddamn flame body. Are you some Pokemon to drag? Get the fuck out of here. You get out of here with that weak shit. Okay, double battle, rock smash, foggy area, and this dude. Uh, hmm. So presumably this is the route to Fuchsia? Super curious what's going to be in this direction. I really like what they did with this route. That is some, uh, like, Power Rangers shit. Hori Ray. Luxray Porygon. We no longer have a ground type. I'll go for a mud slap here just to chip it down a little bit. Magnet rises. Electric normal. We're gonna at least dodge the normal moves, I guess. Alright, so far that's two somewhat mediocre moves. Alright, not a problem. Lop Lava. Quillava Lapras? Uh... Fire Water or Fire Ice? Fire Ice is kind of a cool combo. We could try Lux. I guess that's fine. Okay, it was in fact a water type. Hori fan. Looks like we had a moss rock there for like a uh, Leafeon. <clears throat> Delibird Charmeleon. Um, eh, not what I was looking for. Okay, that's way more damage than I was ever expecting. That's really good. Two Christmas fusions there from Benny. Suspicious Meteorite doesn't do anything. Got a damp rock. Okay. Some inconsistent fog. Fantastic. All right, uh, double battle. Intimidators times two? Sure. Togather and Foravi. Wow. We should be fine here. Does not die, but misses its attack. Fantastic. <laughs> Ligma. <laughs> Ligma. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Guaranteed fire. Let's just put damage up on it. Maybe Brave Bird will just kill it if it's a grass diet. Nah, eh, nope. The upside of that is, you know, we don't take that much damage from Brave Bird if it's the wrong type. So it's not like the end of the world to scout with it. Vile Duo. That's so fucking cool. The Blossom Vile Plume. 
as the two heads? That's so sick. A little misleading because you you know which one is it, right? But uh, still, really, really good. Um, Great bird. Actually, this is gonna spark for the flying. Wagdos. Uh, could be a ground type. It's just scout with spark. Nope, it's dead. All right. So if it's not a ground type, it's probably water flying. I will take a ground gem. Okay, Route 15, new encounter area. Whimsy Whack. Very cool. Mega drains me. It's a little bit of damage. Uh, roost. Reflect Roost seems okay. But so does Roost Mudslap. I think I prefer usually Mudslap over Reflect because it's... You can use Mudslap to persistently debuff something in order to, like, bring something else in. Although, we don't have setup, so, like, I think I'd still rather Mudslap and Swap than Reflect and Swap. Because Mudslap is just more consistent. No, let's get rid of Mudslap. Let's go Roost. Roost, Roost Reflect. I'm also probably going to just end up getting rid of Reflect, too, so let's not sit and deliberate too much over that. Rosa Rose? Rosalia and... Cranidose? It would have to be a Roserade Cranidose? Ampharos? It's Ampharos. And we'll go, we'll go you. We can uh, probably just braid bird this. Take a bunch of damage. Not even a problem. Sweethearts. That looks like a nurse. Hello, nurse. Should we go for the nurse for the heal here, maybe? I think so. Let's do it. Yep. Heal on win. It's really nice that they added the nurses on these routes. This this area can be a bit of a slog in vanilla. Right. Bliscaria with a giant fucking syringe. What are you talking about? Oh, not flying, so steel. How is this thing so sturdy? How is it able to take a fire punch? Okay, uh, we're going to skip those trainers down there. We're going to just let's push through to the city because we're getting a couple of 46s. We're getting close to the cap of 47 on these guys. Um... Let's... This could be... A, this looks like fighting type trainer, so I'm going to keep the same lead here. Manazar. That is so sick looking. That is so cool. Air Slash, that's fine. Still a bit of damage. Um... Well, we can easily just go do this. Some sort of lady. Oops, maybe a dub tops angle. 
Okay, I need to also check the encounters. Uh, we try X Scissor. God damn it. Lands the damn thing. Alright, well, we're stuck here waiting for this shit. I'm just gonna go check the fucking encounter table. Hopefully nothing bad happens while I'm on a different tab. Oh, it died. I guess we woke up and killed it with an X Scissor. Must have been super effective. Jin Pardos. Yeah, we're just gonna click the X Scissor button. Actually, the Brick Break button? Nice. Ice Rock, probably, then? Abs absolutely horrific sprite, by the way. Love it. Okay, uh, yeah, I gotta check the encounter here. Okay, I think we want a nighttime encounter here. Just to not have a chance at Deli Bird, which seems like it'd be really bad. Uh, duplicate Murkrow. Could try the spider web, but that seems bad too. Okay. Fusion is a big, big no. Not a legal encounter. Psyduck is our encounter. I mean, Cloud9 Utility Mon, I guess, maybe. Not exactly jazz for a duck here, but. I mean, at least it's got a fairly unique ability. We could probably use the water typing again somewhere. Maybe we got another ground type to merge it with. Also might have some cool fusion. Psyduck is pretty iconic, as underwhelming as it often is to use. I think this is a rare encounter. Yeah, 4% dusk encounter, by the way. Okay, well there's the exit, and then there's a whole thing down here. Rose Pass. Wow. Uh, a lot of things that could be. Feels compelled to use grass on me. Okay. That's resisted. So is this... Wait, how is that resisted? This must be Probo Pass, not Nose Pass, and then it must be Steel? Yeah, um... So that's just Fire then. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so probably 4x steel grass. Tort nub, uh, fire punch it. Silva sack, fire punch it. <laughs> Alright, job done. Uh, what do we got over here? Some grass that I didn't realize I was in. Fuck you, eggs! Fuck off, eggs! Oh my god. What the fuck? Alright. Just let me through. I just want to see what's over here before we leave. Yuku Sola. I'm just gonna run. Oh, uh, this just loops back to where we jumped. And then there's that guy. I guess you can walk on those. Fuck off and counter rate, please. At least Wob is apparently fast enough to flee from most things. What do we got up here? Old abandoned house in the swamp? What? XP all. Oh. Turned off. Turned on. Okay, no, we'll XP all. That just... 
saves us effort of having to wear candy shit. Iron Head. Yes. Yes, please. Steel Water. Okay, so Iron Head. What do we... Which one do we get rid of? Brick Break or Aerial Ace or X is it? That's the... I don't know. So, okay. Brick Break for normal types. Rock types, which we beat with steel, or water for that matter. Air release for fighting types. Bugs. Bugs for psychic and dark. This might be brick break that's the most redundant then. Other steel types for brick break. Yeah, it really says the added utility of it not being able to be dodged. This has the, the utility of breaking screens. This has no utility, but it's just the highest damage. This is a really tough call. I guess the other situation is like, what are we going to use this against? Like, if we're using Empoleon, for instance... Napoleon's weaknesses, because it's a water steel pet, that's why I'm looking at it. Weak to fighting, ground, and electric. Resists uh, basically everything. Damage normally by grass, dark, fire, and ghost. X scissors also grass. So basically, let's maybe we just consider this from the angle that resistance is. Uh, ice beaten by steel. Dragon beaten by none of this. Fairy beaten by none of this. Well, beaten by steel. Uh, psychic beaten by bug. Steel beaten by brick break. So two brick break, one X scissor. Bug beaten by aerial ace. So one aerial ace. And then flying, which is beaten by none of these. So that's two brick break actually on the resistance side. So then for the tiebreaker, there's grass, which is beaten both both X scissor and aerial ace. There's dark, which is beaten by both brick break and X scissor. There's fire, which is already beaten normally, and then there's ghost, which is not beaten by any of these. So nothing helps there. Poison type, nothing. We're literally, then we're just at the weakness. <laughs> uh, so fucking. I guess X Scissor actually is only. No, X Scissor is Psychic and Dark. I think I miscounted. Aerial Ace is the re least useful one then. Yeah, this. Okay, Aerial Ace. That's, that's enough time spent debating that. Um, so yeah, fucking Ironhead is our main go-to here. Priority Aqua Jet in the back, and eventually we can get like Waterfall. This is No Guard. I forgot this was No Guard. Oh shit, this is No Guard. Aerial Ace is dookie, because we hit anyway. Yeah, no, fuck that. Okay, perfect. We did it correctly, completely, without actually realizing why it was correct. Okay. Whoops. Alright. Uh, that was some lag. That was fun. So this is normally a surf route. That appears to be true. We could go for, like, a Palosand. <clears throat> or wait till we actually have surf. Yeah, this, this section just lags. Only initially. Weird. Uh, let's check the hotel first before we do anything else. Oh, 
Oh, sick! More, more Moonlight and Morning Sun have field effects. That's pretty cool. There's an area back here. Okay, we got friendship uh, person. Save that in case we do find a friendship Evo. Seven more people for reward. Okay, buddy Pokemon wants to know about the Sharpie Pokemon that bit him in the Safari Zone's lake. Carvana? Is that in the game? We have to, okay, we have to show it to him. Okay, bicycle race, meet the cyclists at the bottom of Route 17, beat their time. We might have fucked up by taking that now. Four Chansey in the Safari Zone. Try to find the trainer, yes. Find the Chansey's lost trainer. Okay, get rid of the Grimers. Sure. Oh, hey, Janine. Okay, there's Strength. Wait, what? What? Wait, wait. Didn't we we had strength. Where the fuck? I'm sure I checked in the bag, right? Do you get it in multiple spots? That's really weird. I'm really curious about this. Unless it was a le no, we definitely had it. Okay, there like used to be bugs with strengths, so like there's a whole issue there trying to look up info about that. I'm just curious where this came from. This is supposed to be Fuchsia City from Janine. Maybe we got it when we talked to Janine earlier? Why do we have strength on Kecleon? Do we have this? I am... I swear we had this. Okay, well let's... whatever. Um, it's not like we could dev mode strength onto Kecleon, so however Kecleon got strength if we didn't have the item was should be legit. <laughs> Maybe Kecleon just learned strength. Oh, um, I wasn't expecting that. Noctilix. We're healed, right? Yeah. Felix and Knocked Owl. Not steel, so ground flying. This thing is putting out some damage. Intimidate not really useful because we're taking air slash damage. Well, there's the ref Oh, shit, I could have brick break. I was thinking that was barrier, not reflect. Uh, yeah, ground pep. We knew that. What am I? What am I doing? Just throwing for content. It's fine. Okay, I locked into uproar. This is fine because we can just roost.
Okay, do we time that reflect perfectly? Okay, it gives me swift wing. Uh, is this the city? No, Route 18. Okay, so there there is a little little piece of Route 18 like normal. Um, all right, let's pop. Yeah, just I guess whenever you enter Fuchsia, it kind of just lags for a moment. Pokemon Mansion? Okay. Oh, so she tells us, like, where there's currently, like, an outbreak. Hey, Primordial, it's going well, mostly. We lost, um... Oh, the teleporting amber is amusing. We lost, uh, our water ground Polyrath Golem recently, which sucked. Other than that, it's going all right. Counters have been a mixed bag, but I think a slack off it makes up for, like, the weaker ones. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, let's go get the Route 18 encounter. Maybe fight that biker. Oh yeah, I actually should look this up uh, and figure out if we want a water encounter, if we can get one. It looks like there's a path going down, so. Mimic Cargo. A Mimikyu Meg Cargo? Interesting. Okay, now we're back to normal. We got fine and dandy. Clefno, that is amazing. I feel like that almost might be a reference to something with the way it's chained. It's got like chains on it, because Clefki's not really chains, but maybe somebody was just feeling inspired. Uh, we could go for a shadow sneak. Yeah, let's just let's just stay in for a round at least here. Okay, now we're dark type. Yeah, that just makes that resisted. Okay, that's fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Right, Biker Isaac defeated. No, nope, I'm good, thank you. So, Route 18, Firo to Duo, Furret, Mischievous, Giraffe, Stantler, and Miltank. Old Rob, Poliwag, and Feebos, which are both encounters we already have. Uh, did we ever get a good Rob? Yes. Is the Super Rod... Normally the Super Rod's in this town. Right? But I th think... I think we checked the house where it would have been. Good Rod would be uh, Krabby Remoraid. Do we want a Krabby Fusion? Krabby could be cool, but we already got a Psyduck floating around for the next wave of fusions. I don't think I want a Krabby. I like Krabby. So if we do Grass, I mean, Stantler is a chance at another Intimidate. Miltank would have a heal for fusion. That would be good for the hardcore mode. Dodrio is usually pretty okay. Nighttime Mischievous or Daytime for higher chances at, or the only chance at Dodo and Furret are Daytime. But do I want to risk Furret? I think we do... Nighttime is also higher Giraffe Rig. I don't think I want Giraffe Rig. If it had the Evo, then I then I'd be down for it. Honestly, maybe this is a fishing encounter. I'm not really like we got a lot of flying types. But yeah, let's do fishing. Uh, so unregister. Register. 
don't remember the uh, the button here for this. Which button is the? There we go. All right. So this should be okay. Well, there's the Krabby. So uh, we bought lure balls from the fisherman. So I think we'll just chuck one of these straight away. Crabby, uh, so we can't surf. Interesting, there's something down there. So maybe this is a Route 18 is maybe greatly expanded to actually be something other than just a little nub of a route. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, nobody's at cap yet. We could box the 46s. And save them for the gym trainers. I might do that. Nah, let's let's just keep the team together. Screw it. So we haven't looked through here. We haven't been to the safari zone. Wait, what? Gems are the pressurized droppings of Pokemon. Horrific. Um. Gems are poop confirmed. 11 Ultra Balls is enough for now. A few poison gems just to have them. Maybe we should just do our Safari Zone encounter. So the way I usually do Safari Zone encounters is I basically let myself catch like one attempt in each area. Um, and then we keep the first one we catch. So basically we just get the reroll if we fail the catches early on. That's if it's Safari Zone, like throw rock mechanics. If it's just a special catch area without anything else, then I don't worry about it. Wait, we're supposed to find somebody missing a chance here. They said they were, I thought they said they were up here, unless they're inside. Uh, I would really like a Scyther, that'd be great. Huh. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna assume the same route as base game. To get surf. That's incredible. Oh, I wonder if it's. There's no way it's like strictly fusions, right? She just said she got right there. Also, why is the music like battle music? Alright, Knit Arena. And I usually just chuck balls. Okay, Knit Arena encounter failed. That's one attempt at an encounter gone. That's like area two. Over the stone. Ooh, sick pincer. That's a cool sprite for pincer. Probably should be running straight for the uh, the surf area, but it's fine. Four K for signal beam. I think I'm good. Thanks. Poison barb might have a use for that. Area three. Near the seeds. Nice. All right, Tauros in this area.
Fuck, two failed encounters. Usually you get like something low tier in at least one of the areas to guarantee it. Acrobatics. Pretty good. Lot of like held items and cams here and stuff. This is really lucrative. We'll have to come back and comb through this uh, more. Ooh, Hera. Okay, area four. This is where normally the teeth are. And then the surf house is usually this. All right. Ah, Serpent City to usurp. Good. Confirmed. A white rod. Okay. All right, well, that's it for that. So, I think we did, like, Area 2 and Area 3. So now let's actually try to get uh, the other areas and stuff here. So there was this area. This should be area one. Come on, here's the female Nita. Get caught. Nice. Uh, no, no nickname, thank you. So, at least we're guaranteed an encounter in the form of the Nidoran female, if all else fails. Let's check the rest houses. Where did your boyfriend go? Catching Pokemon taking his gifts. Is the Lickitung your boyfriend? I can see that. Um, alright. Oops. Okay, misclick. Miss, missed input. Doesn't count. Okay. Alright. Alright. Music is just gone. So we got an encounter here already. We're gonna just try to run through. Most of this is already like cleared. It looked like there was another path. But yeah, nothing there. We didn't check the rest house. We talked to that person though. Maybe the chancy person's here. Okay, area five. So the safari zone is expanded. That's cool. Soft sand, sick. Double team, literally banned. Setup move. Okay, I will take a probably take a Rhyhorn over a Nito Rima. Never mind, it ran. Well, shit. What is this floating thing in space? Oh, is it Diglets? It's not it's not something in the sky, it's under the ground. Oh, and trap inch. That's cool. I like the sand pit encounter thing, that's neat. Uh I guess we're just exploring this area now. Rare artifact in the sand in front of this house. Oh, sick. Okay, so chancy person there. Rare Pokemon in the desert temple? Is that here? Oh, shit. No! Okay, there's a desert temple, but how do we get there in time? Because I, I feel like we didn't waste that much time. So it says there's a rare Pokemon deep inside. Maybe it's not even Safari Zone? It's just its own separate area access through the Safari Zone? Like, I'm sure it's a separate encounter area, but I'm just wondering if the steps are going to be timed. 
All right, let's try to get there again. Just minimize the amount of steps we take otherwise. We still have one more Safari Zone encounter minimum. Maybe more if there's like an Area 6. So, I feel like we might have to have Surf to do this quickly. Because then you get that shortcut. Okay, we're inside. Um, okay, I'm gonna look this up. All right, let's repel and look for this uh, this Pokemon in here. I have no idea where it is. I know now from looking at Zavolcarona. Okay, let's not get caught by a Golette because that would be the encounter. Oh, this is gonna be uh, difficult, huh? Okay, 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 okay. Dodge the ghosts. Where do we think this thing is? Ah! Okay, you're a dupe, that's fine. Whoops, god damn it. Click too fast. Species claws do. Relic copper. You're a dead end. I'm just kind of going down under the assumption that might be, uh, you know, furthest from the entrance be the place where the special guy was. God damn it. I need to get better at dodging these because we're going to end up with a Golet encounter. Oh, fuck, the steps still count. Okay, that's rough. Then we're gonna have to map that. Okay, let's leave that for later. Okay, we're gonna finish the Safari Zone, and then I got uh, a hint at an area. There's a Pewter Valley I found on the encounter table sheet. Wait, what? Why is this bad? It must respawn every day. Because it's like an Evo item. That, that would make some sense. Poison Barb, uh, maybe all the hell items respawn? This is area one still. You know, I'm actually wondering if these encounters are by area. That probably is surf required to get over there. Okay, area four. Uh... Let's try to get the encounter here first and foremost. We didn't have a chance before. Another Tauros attempt. Okay, I'll take a Tauros. Um, please have Intimidate. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because fusions, it gets whatever, whatever it can get. Hell yeah, Tauros. I got a Tauros right now in the draft lock, so this is... This is, uh, this is fate. Okay, let's, uh, go look for items over here. And if these are separate areas, we get both. No! The fucking ball's right there! How important could 1TM be? I think we leave it, we come back and we have Surf to get the other stuff. Area four, we get a safari encounter in every area. So what I might, we're not gonna change the claws this time. I might do a guaranteed catch in each area in the future. We got plenty of encounters at this point. I think, I think, I think we'll do it the way I did it. Um, they're, they're separate encounter areas, but we don't get the multiple chances in different areas. Basically, Savari's own claws doesn't actually apply. We just chuck a ball. 
see if we get it or not. We get five possible encounters then. Two out of five ain't bad. Okay. Alright, so apparently south of Route 3 there is a valley. I believe this over here is Route 3. So, if there's a valley hidden to the south, how in the world would we get to it? Unless it's not to the south? Maybe it doesn't exist? I don't see, like, anywhere for an area. Maybe it's just unused, because there are unused areas. Or maybe it's, ex like, access somewhere weird through the bottom part of town? Like, not from 3, but nearby? Oh. Like that? Wait, what is that? Did you see that in the tree? What is that at the bottom? Down in the corner? Or maybe from Diglett Tunnel there's like a way up? Hmm. I don't know. Mysterious mysteries. Let's, uh, let's Google this quick. Yeah, uh, I'm stumped. I can't find anybody even talking about Pewter Valley on Google. Maybe it's just an unutilized area. Uh, if you have any idea if it is a thing, please do let me know in the comment. Um, it doesn't have a map icon, but neither does like Viridian River or like the secret forest or garden or whatever. I mean, my guess would be that it's another secret area, but I don't know how we would uh, get to it. All right, well, maybe we should go finish up. Oh yeah, let's go turn in the Chansey class. Wait, what? Ah, Lucky Egg, okay. That makes, that's, that makes a lot of sense uh, for where to get Lucky Egg. Totally, totally makes sense. Hold on. So normally you can fish. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Somewhere. I, I can't remember the hockey again. There it is. Am I in slow mode? Yeah. Maybe there aren't even fishing counters here because it's a swimming pool. I mean, that might make sense, right? Okay. Uh, I'm going to believe that there are not encounters unless the uh, document tells me something different. The, uh, the wiki, that is. Yusha City, no matches. Okay, I believe there are no encounters in here. And this just happens to be surfable uh, and fishable. So let's just leave. Okay, so, um, jump across there, fight that guy, get a TM. I guess. Missed a sire, my lord. I like the, uh, the invisible barrier. I don't know why the barrier is visible on a Quagsire fusion as opposed to literally anything else from Mr. Mime, but cool.
fantastic. It's it's Porygon Jr. and it's a broken JPEG. Uh, I don't know why that would be. Oh, I guess like the barrier, so it's like a JPEG. I was just thinking in, in terms of cool fusion sprites. That was pretty neat, even if it didn't make them that much sense to me. Um, so normal and maybe it's like let's go fucking double it and smash it with Iron Head. Yep. Bye. Ooh. Um. Tempting, but I do really like the priority move here. And Ghost doesn't have that much super effective applications, especially since it's mutually uh, effective. I think I'm going to turn off the XP all. Since we're just using rare candy, it's literally just detrimental. Sludge Bomb, oh sick. That's uh, more reason to make a poison type fusion. Oh shit. That is in fact a double battle. Manium and Vino Licky. So Licky Licky, Venomat, and Meganium Mantine? Yeah. So these are not fighting types. Um Grass water? We could just go knock dial for the other intimidate, I guess. Whatever. See if this is a uh, water type. Lux Flame. Let's just spray bird this. Probably just dies here. Alright, Lux Flame's at the cap for Koga. That's fine. So we got this area up here. Oh, I bet you that surf spot there leads to that house they're talking about. That seems probably shit. Probably pretty likely. Yeah. The so Serpent Strength. So this is as far as we can actually go here. I didn't mean to click that. Whatever. It's gonna keep happening here and there. At least this is super easy. Alright, uh, yeah, so no way to get over there. That's probably a house right there or something, maybe. There's definitely stuff up there. I think we've done everything else here, though. We fought you. We went up this way. That was that area. Yep, okay, so this route's done. So really all we got left to do before Koga is, like, Cycling Road. I'm probably not going to do Cycling Road itself. I don't know why I went there. Um, but I'd like to get the encounters. So I think we'll go through the top. So there should be the route. Well, I think we have the one route, right? Okay, let's deposit our level cap person. Also one of our longest surviving fusions next to our starter. Grab you. Let's pop over to Celadon real quick. 
Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I have my chat buried if you said anything. Sorry, I missed your chat. I was distracted. Yeah, Lux Slime looks pretty sick. Uh, we did Safari Starter Forest. What do you mean by that? Do you mean like the Secret Forest? Because we got that. Okay, so we do have this Snorlax to clear still. This is Route 16. So if I remember correctly, it's... Was it 14 was the one down by... No, 18's down by... Yeah. 17 is Cycling Road. Okay, so we have just the Route 17 encounter. Because I think this is where we got Ponyta. Up there. Um, Do we need anything different for the Snorlax? I think we just kill him here. All right, let's take a mat down. I was looking for Pewter Valley, which I saw in the encounter table sheet on the wiki, and I've never, I've never seen anything about that area, so I don't know if it's just unused or what. Um, he can probably recover from burn. That's actually a fair bit of body slam damage. I... I don't know, uh... I, so I'm playing semi-blind, so I'm looking at, like, encounter tables, but... Beyond that, I, I don't know. Uh, the encounter table for Pewter Valley was, like, just fishing and surf. Let's go to Dub Tops. And just Brick Break. Yeah, that, that'll do it. It's almost like Dub Tops is good or something. No, the one on the first route we've been to, that's Secret Garden. Um, yeah, no reason to have Body Slam here. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. Until next time.